Uh, Dennis is asking, what's your explanation on the people who do get rich? Is it a matter of them being in or out of alignment? The rich people who don't come from money are the ones to whom I'm referring. Okay, that's a, we could talk a whole lot about a lot of different reasons why someone might get rich. In the body graph, you're going to see that there are uh, wealth gates or wealth traits. If you study the mm, 16 faces of the Godhead, it's not about mm, s studying or worshiping any gods, but Ra just taking that mandala wheel. Let me grab the mandala wheel here. This mandala wheel mm, here and subdividing it into 16 different areas where there's these traits, these gate activations in human design, we call them traits in BG5, that are going to give you an ability to have a correlated relationship between those four different gates that are right next to each other. So right now I'm just um, highlighting the quarter of civilization. This is purpose fulfilled through form. And four of the material wealth gates are, are down here. So I'm just, um, let's see, 62, yeah. Okay, so there's, there's the subdivision here. If you've heard of the goddess Lakshmi, and again, this is not about mm, worshiping anybody. This is not about religion or anything like that. It's just the archetypal principle. Lakshmi is the goddess of good fortune, abundance, wealth, its beauty, and this is her domain right here. Do you see how all of these, the 16, the 35, the 45, and the 12 are all here in the uh, throat? We call it the communication and action function. Those are all potential wealth traits. So without analyzing every single rich person, I'm sure if I had the time and energy to do so, I would find lots of correlations between wealth gates traits in their design whether that was something that they were innately born with or not. Now you notice I have none of those in my design, but I have a husband with whom I partner and together we have more wealth. See, I have a wisdom potential about the 45 and I in fact love my 45s. Uh, that's my Venus on that side. So my um, conscious personality, relational values. And another thing, all of these traits here in the sacral center, we call it the energy resource in BG5. These are all profoundly powerful. Now, some of them are about small groups, fueling small groups to be financially successful. And some of them are about large groups to be financially successful. So it really has to do with the inherent wealth availability within one's design. Some people come into wealth as a matter of mm, circumstance, happenstance, good fortune, good luck, past life karma. I know that's one of mine. Um, inheritance can be seen in the charts. And some of us do it because, or come into wealth because we're driven to prove ourselves to, let's say, a parent that didn't believe in us. You know, standing there, shaking your fist at your father, saying, see, I proved you wrong, I can make it, you know? And is that coming from a place that brought satisfaction or bitterness or anger, you know? It's always, there's always a this and that in the design. Whether you have a design that is designed for wealth or not, some of it comes in alignment and some of it does not. You know what I mean? I can't really go into much more depth and detail without looking at specific charts, but I hope that that helps. Whoops. Hope that helps a little bit to help you understand why, you know, it, that's a topic for a whole course, I could say. Okay. And yes, everything, everyone has everything in the body graph. Wherever you have openness is where you are receptive to others and to life. So transit activations, when they are large life cycles, whether it be mm, the, I like to call it growing pains in your thirties, or your midlife crisis is more like your maturing, you know, energy, your, or maturing time of, of breathing out in the life where I would say your fifties is, you know, this full flowering of your human potential. So we are not just this digits on a screen or if you print it out flat piece of paper we are multi-dimensional and we have life's work 
fulfillment that each of these larger life cycles bring to us in alignment with what we're here for, what we're destined or born for. So it's not that I don't have these activations, I simply don't have them um, with a planetary life aspect. And when it comes to making money, life aspects that are hanging out in an undefined center or function, we can call them a dormant potential. Those are our natural money receptors. You can see I have tons of money receptors. Most especially they are in third line qualities, which are about the material um, way or potential.